But let's go on to uh, Zoom Skype now and speak with the man who's trending uh, all the way from the Western region, Say V. How are you, my brother? I'm very well, doing very good, my brother. You, you look very calm. Uh, when I see you on stage and watch your videos, you have a more active soul. This morning, you're very calm. Why are you calm? Um, I'm calm by nature. You know, I think it's, 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 it's a thing with um, most music acts and um, uh, a lot of people in, in the industry. Mm. Because um, when, I mean, when you're home or when you're at any other place, you know, you are yourself. But then if you need to perform to people, you, you need to um, put in more energy and let them feel the vibe, you know. So this, that's this who I am. First question now to you. This is where Jara's stuff. Why did you choose music? You, you work at uh, Tor. You're a big man. Why do you choose music? <laughs> well, um, I, I, I don't work at Tor. Maybe we, we'll get to that okay. in the course of discussion. So... Um, so music itself is, is, is a talent that I discovered um, not so early in, in life. I mm. think after SHS, while I was waiting to go to the uni, I started. Um, I discovered the talent, and then I, fortunately, I happened to join the last two music groups some time back mm. as one of um, Hamid's boys, and th that was quite um, motivating for me. And um, also, I, I got my colleagues in school on campus, you know, hailing me here and there, mm. and. Mm. So I tried doing the music and uh, along the path, I, I realized that probably something else is better for me to look up to. I can still do the music, but mm. then uh, not full time. How did yeah. you meet Hammer? I'm curious to learn. <laughs> so I, a friend in Takra did then, when I was in Accra, did, um, I mean, um, he informed me that Hammer is recruiting some guys for his third compilation album. That's... Um, Crusade of the, of the Lost Files. Mm -hmm. So um, I happened to be in a duo. Uh, so I called my other guy. We went to Hama. I think we went to his house at New Road, Medina uh, back then. And then we went to prove to him that, I mean, we, we, we are eligible to be put on the album. He told us he had finished with the recruitment. Mm -hmm. But I think we were also able to convince him, you know, um, the tidy vibe thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, the cut. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so he made you sing. What did he make you do to prove your your metal? Yeah, you know, for last two, the last two, it's um, typically rap. Mm. You know, so um, it's 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 rap is the age over there. So we went there to, I mean, uh, demonstrate that we can mm. do a good rap and uh, we are okay to be put on the album. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what happened. 2003, what do you remember from that year in your musical career? 2003, that was when I had just um, discovered my talent. So I remember very well, I, I did my first demo um, and I had it play on radio and I, I felt like I was in heaven. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2008. Let's let's fast forward to 2008, when your Two first single came out or the first album was yes. it? Yes. Okay. So um, 2008, uh, 2007, I I was in Legon and I had released this viral song "You Are a Fool to Me," and um, I happened to get you know the vibe more. So I did record another single, "Fantafuna mm -hmm. Brofa." Mm -hmm. So I. I did record some other song added to Fantifuna Brofa that was making good waves over the um, back then. Okay. And um, I, I put them together um, and launched an album mm. at um, Last Tower Beach, we call it in Takrade, in okay. 2008, March. Yeah. Fantifuna <laughs> Brofa. How about the two that you mean? You know, this natural phenomenon where, like, Fantis, mm -hmm. um, I mean, box up or mix up. Um, the English with mm -hmm. the local dialect, mm -hmm. Fante, Profo. You know, Fantis would never speak and not chip in, you know, English vocabs and the like. So mm. um, it just came across like, hey, somebody just made a statement and it was funny. I was like, Fante, Fona, mm -hmm. So I, I, I just decided to do a song with it. Can, can you give yeah. me a little bit of that uh, acapella? 
Okay, so in my mind, I, I, I imagined a guy approaching a lady wanting to, you know, pursue her. Mm -hmm. So I started like, hello, system. I mean, I will chat for a while. Mm -hmm. Then the lady responds, fancy for a brofoire. Excuse me, my heart, I mean, pay the stair bounce. Then I come in like, Who have you worked with uh, in the industry? You've, you've come a long way. Who, who have you worked with? You mean the, my uh, colleague artist? Exactly. Okay, I've, I've worked with quite a, a good number of them. Um, uh, I'll start from Western Region, um, Nero X, as mm -hmm. we did watch the video, Bolo Lady, Kofi Kenata, mm -hmm. um, ISM, and um, I've worked with Akan of Rough and Smooth Fame, I've worked with Jupiter, the dance hall arts, I've mm -hmm. worked with Sarko that was in 2016. Okay. I've worked with... Um, Way back, we did our song with uh, Kabna Kabna in the last two mm -hmm. music group. And then I have worked with me, quite a good number of them. Uh, what, what, yeah. what is it that you tell them? Or what, what about you attracts them to you? Um, I think it's my personality. It's mm. it God-given. Um, and uh, I, I owe it to God because, you know, I kind of respect everybody that I meet in life. And... Mm. I think you, you respect it such that you give it and you, you get it back. And mm. um, also, uh, the how far I've been able to go um, in education also mm. helps. And the kind of job that I do today, you know, because I've been I've, I've been in the corporate um, uh, world for the past almost 11 years. Mm. So um, even way back when I went to the last two, I was introduced as this guy is from Legon. And right. the rest of them were like, you know, he's is different mm. so that, that is what has helped me um, and then I'm not I've not really been doing music so much but I think the respect is there and I'm able to explore as much as I can why, why are you unable to do music very often yeah like I, I did mention I I, I have a full-time job and um, I, it takes most of my time so mm. I do basically I do music as a hobby Okay. And I, yeah, that's what I do. And I, I try to send messages out there. Mm. If it is funny, I send it out there. If it is a message that should enlighten people or educate people on some one or two topics, mm. I do. Yeah. Word is that most of you guys cannot play with a live band. Can you play with a live band? Yes. So I've played with a live band a number of times. Um, but consistency is also another thing. So if you happen to put me on a, on a big um, platform, um, ahead of today, what mm. I'll do is that I'll, I'll make sure I I, I, I rehearse well enough to to do a live performance. Mm. It's it, it, it's it's something that I think we shouldn't take away, uh, we shouldn't take for granted because mm. I mean it, it, it makes you stand out, you know. What, what do you want to be remembered for? Legacy. Okay, so. Uh, music, music itself, uh, for me, is, is a talent that I'm, I'm using to do the music and um, any other thing that I do. So I feel that it's, it's God-given. Mm. And, you know, when God gives you something, he expects you to also to give back. Right. And giving back to God, in, a, in my way, is giving back, giving back to God through giving to society. Mm. So I, I want to be remembered for the artists who, you know, first of all, enlightened the industry, especially up and coming artists, that um, it's not all about just wanting to do music. You can mm. still do music and, I mean, do any other thing. Like your, your dreams should be bigger. Mm. Music should fall part of your plan, but don't, mm. do all, don't make all your plans around doing music. Mm. So I want to be the artist that, you know, will bridge the gap between the kind of industry, the music industry and the corporate world. So if you are in the industry, you think as somebody, you think like a, like a bank manager. Right, you okay. Think like, yeah. Let, let's talk about the brand new one, which is uh, making trends already. What, what's that called? I am the only me. You are the only you. Of course you are. Why that and title? You, it's sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you listen to the song, I talk um, about myself that I am the only me. No one can be like me. And you, standing over there, you are the only you. Nobody mm. can be like you. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, the rationale behind the uh, concept is um, it's, it's just to promote positive self-esteem. So that's the next campaign that I'm embarking on. Because okay. a lot of people are even doing the right things, but with low self-esteem, they are not able to do it well. People are not even able to identify themselves, know who, mm. know who they are, 
how they can better themselves. Because if you don't believe in yourself, mm. I mean, trust me, you can't bring out the best in you in anything that you do. So, v, so I have me. Thank, yes. thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. And we hope that we'll have some more chats uh, in future. Definitely, definitely. With my upcoming projects, uh, I'm sure I'll be on the platform most most of the time. Absolutely. So, I'd like you. to say hi to everybody doing the watching, and I love you all. Sharp, 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 sharp. Charlie, Vim, Vim to the west side.